Halloween's not over yet, so... I'm still smiling. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I'm sorry, I can't talk to the camera like this. It, it doesn't look right. I don't look right. It looks so wrong. So continuing our format of working on the base a little bit at the start of every episode, because I definitely don't want to abandon this project. It's definitely not done. And indeed, I want to continue the mission of symmetry. No, not false symmetry, true symmetry. I need to make this side here the same as the one over there. And for that to happen, I need to start digging again. Digging a lot. That actually includes quite a lot of gravel placing to get rid of water, but actually it also includes quite a lot of TNT. Now I don't know if you remember, but when I dug out this hole, I didn't actually dig most of it. It was actually made mostly by TNT and then tidied up afterwards. It was only that section at the back that was actually mined out. So I've got myself some TNT, as I always do. Gotta keep, gotta keep TNT spared just for this sort of thing. And we're gonna make our way down to bedrock. At least I think it's bedrock. Now digging straight down is never a good idea. Make your way all the way back up. Now this is still a very long process, don't get me wrong, but it's still a lot faster than mining it all by hand. Well, it's not going to be that fast then, is it? What's going on? Help! Help! Okay, alternating TNT didn't work. Here we go. Oh, whoa! Now I'm going to need an awful lot of TNT to do this entire area. I still stand by it that it is the quickest way of mining. Okay, so I've used up what I had, and that was three and a half stacks of TNT, and I've only covered a very, very small portion of this area. So... Let's do what we always love to do, ignite the TNT, and see what happens. Well, I mean, I don't know why I didn't expect anything other than a giant explosion, but check it out! Exactly what we wanted. Oh, it's a pit of silverfish! Wasn't really expecting that. Right, so, no diamonds, but we do know that we need a lot more TNT if we're gonna get this whole thing looking a bit more like this. So believe it or not, we actually need to travel to the Upside Down, which I haven't been to in a long, long time. Yeah, I don't miss traveling down this tunnel very much, I must admit. Now the reason that I actually came to the Upside Down is because the only desert biome that I know of is actually just on the other side of this portal. The desert that we allocated at the beginning of the season is now completely empty. I mean, just Bear that in mind for a second. I mean, just just imagine for a second, every single block of this sand is gone there. Just how much sand do we get through? It's it's industrial sized Minecraft. But you know what? I've done I've done quite a stupid. I've done quite a stupid. I didn't bring any shulker boxes with me, so this isn't gonna be great. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some chests down. And we are going to do a very quick grind lapse as we fill all of these up with sand until our shovel is nearly broken. Without further ado, let's... let's mine some sand. So as you saw, I have made up some TNT. And guess what? Each one of these is about a stack, so I can't believe this, but uh, this is um, not actually the most efficient way because when you factor in all the item collecting for each of these TNT, it's actually going to take a long time. So let's just, uh, let's ignite these and hope for the best because they are placed in a way that should... Oh! oh! What? I blew up my own base. And I let out the goons. <laughs> they must have been sitting in there for a long time. I've I've ruined my storage as well. But there's no denying that it's been a fairly successful explosion. But it might be safer just to mine it out. Normally when I do this, it shows some diamonds, but absolutely no diamonds today. So on the whole... <laughs> on the whole... Oh no, puns. Puns. On the whole, it is not a very big hole, uh, but I have quite a lot more mining and excavating and explosions to do, so this will be, a, again, a project that takes me roughly a million episodes. 
But let's go over to the shopping district now, where there's actually, while there's still time, some Halloween games. I really should do the Halloween games while it's still technically before Halloween. Whoa! Big surprise! Massive pyramid! Awesome! I actually helped Ren with the shape of that a while ago, so I'm so glad to see that it's uh, actually made it in-game. So in regards to the mycelium resistance, I have another little explanation mind games to do. But before I get to that, we need to go and do this thing, which is the Halloween trick or treat house. The trick or treat house. Costumes required. Well, I have a costume on. There we go. It's my face. It's, it's actually B-dubs' face. I've got his face on. It's recommended to store all items before trick or treating. Okay, that's fair. So what do I actually need to do here? Trick or treat, press ceiling button inside. I don't have to pay for anything, right? There was no payment required. Ooh. I've been treated! <gasps> oh my goodness! That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's three withers. Three withers. I... I'm flabbergasted. That is an actual treat. Are you sure I don't have to pay for this? Is there some sort of... Is this a trick? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, that's great. But is this a genuine trick? Because there's no payment, there's nothing required. As far as I can tell, can I get treated again, please? Okay. I've been tricked. You have two minutes to live. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, so I've been I've been tricked now. Uh, see the item in the left barrel? The left barrel. Red wool. Use the, uh, use the items in the right barrel to make the same item. Put your new item in the center barrel. Exit through the back. Uh, you hear this? Okay, how do I... How do I do this? How do I make a red wool using this? There's enough to make an iron golem, right? Well, pff, not like that. Uh-oh. Okay, so I have an iron golem. I'm pretty sure I wasn't- oh wait, am I meant to kill him with lava? What does he drop? <gasps> I think I can do this. But I have only two minutes. Come on, I can't burn the items. Come on. Faster! Burn faster! Okay. Uh... Is it four? No! 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 I was so close! Okay. Oh no! Oh no! I figured it out too late! Okay, can we do that again? Do I get another go? I was so close. If I hadn't spent such a stupid amount of time reading the book. Reading, you see? Reading got me killed! I don't actually know how to get out of here. Okay, we gotta try this again. Now that I know what to do, hopefully it, it gives me the same, the same trick. I think. Alright, alright, alright. We can do this. Unless I get a treat. A treat? I got treated! Oh my goodness. It's the shovel shuffle. Heck yeah. Check it out. It's the shovel shuffle. Woo! Okay, right. We need to get tricked again. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to use this again. Right, 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 right. Let's do this properly. Oh, pumpkin pie. Oh man, this is a... I don't even know how to make pumpkin pie. I genuinely don't even know how to make pumpkin pie. Well, this isn't good. I... I have no I, I I'm stumped. What would a pumpkin pie be made out of? Exactly. I give up. <laughs> I give up. To be honest, I was lost on pumpkin pie for that one. Genuinely, like, it was it was over from the word pumpkin pie. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever crafted pumpkin pie. Okay, one more time. One more trick. I feel like this is such a good crafting challenge. I don't know. I If you guys know how the pumpkin pie one was done, I'm mind blown. I managed to get the wool one eventually, but, like, I just ran out of time. Oh, another treat. Oh, my goodness. That's, see, that's... Not Thanks. I didn't even notice there was a treat thing there. I was too busy looking at the box. All right, here we go. It seems to be treat, trick, treat, trick, treat, trick. All right, let's go. We don't need to check this. It seems to be the same piston. How do we make a piston? We use the stuff in here. How do we use the stuff in here? Uh, how do I get the redstone ore? Okay, right. I think this is 
fairly simple if I'm correct. We're going to have to make a wooden pickaxe to turn this into cobblestone. We're going to run out of time. And then, oh no, because I need that for the, the piston. Maybe this, straight away for this, maybe, oh, maybe I've messed up. Oh, I've messed up. Have I messed up? Because it's one redstone. It's one redstone. <gasps> Piston! There we go, there we go, there we go. I did it. What happened? I made the piston. I made it. Help. Why is it still going off? Help. What's supposed to happen? Help! What door? What door? This door? This door? What door? There was no door. I actually managed it this time. L apparent Tango says that the lava should have gone down, but it didn't. I'm gonna, <laughs> I feel like I'm hogging this, but I feel like I really need to, to win this. Oh, Tango's here. All right, furnace. I have to make a furnace using these blocks with no wood. I need to make a furnace. How do I, oh, okay. What can I? make out of this. TNT, TNT, TNT. I can make a TNT. Yes, and then I can make, I can make, come on. Come on. TNT, and then I can turn. <laughs> come on, I need this for a flint and steel. This is luck based. This is totally luck based. Oh my, I figured it out. I know exactly how to do it. There we go. Right, we can make one of these. We then pay, we then go and make one of these. Oh, we're probably gonna die from the explosion here. Then we got, boom, furnace. Right, now we put just one in and the lava comes down. Oh, oh no, come oh wait, does it only open for a second? For real? It opens. It opens for like half a second. This is insane. It opens for half a second. Okay, right, I'm gonna stop being selfish because there's gonna be some other hermits that desperately want to play this, even though I really, really want to continue so badly. I just, I want to win, but I feel like I've definitely had my turn now. If, if Tango and Impulse say I can go again, then I will. But I feel like, I feel, I feel like I've had enough. So, what was the explanation for the mycelium resistance? Well, it's pretty, pretty funny actually. So, I need to play a clip again from last week of me and Impulse doing some mind game scheming. Here we go. Uh, we have not an issue, because I've already solved the issue, but we have an opportunity. So, Ooh. Ren and I used this here secret bubble elevator <laughs> to oh. spread the sheep and in turn spread the mycelium. But a lot of the the viewers, we 100 IQ them, bamboozled, I said 200, 200 IQ, bamboozled <laughs> them. And they were like, oh, I can't believe you, you've, you've revealed the base again, but we haven't. I sealed up the tunnel. Oh, lot. smart. As soon as, it, as soon as we were done, the tunnel is sealed. This is just an empty bu bubble elevator and there's no base down there. The base is miles away. Oh, so they cannot just backtrack through this to find our actual headquarters. No, absolutely not. But... Good job. It's good thinking, man. I wouldn't have thought of that. They think they can. They don't know that I've sealed it up, and the viewers have probably told them that Ren and I, in quotations, messed up. So Ooh. what I'm thinking is we build a tunnel that backtracks to your fake imposter base. We uh -huh. update the base to make it look legit again. Yep. And then lead them to a trap. Now they, I, I don't know if you know, but there's some diamonds missing from the diamond throne. We use the buyback program to steal all their diamonds. Oh, good, good. So you guys put that mycelium I've been collecting to good use. Exactly. So nice. We, we have put the diamonds in our vault. So if we make a fake vault, we can assume that they will try and steal the diamonds. <laughs> you see where I'm going wow. with this? Wow. Yes. Big We're brain. like three moves ahead of them. Three, yeah, dude. <laughs> we are we are three moves ahead right so here's the here's what i'm suggesting i'll make the tunnel because it's not going to be fun to tunnel all that distance i'll tunnel yeah, it's and very make, far. It, make it look legit 
And then if you take care of the vault trap and updating the, the decoy base to what it looks like now, we got ourselves okay. a triple bamboozle. Perfect. I love this plan. No more knockoff decoy headquarters. No, it's going to be legit. Be legit. <laughs> How many times are they going to fall for the same decoy base? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to make it look different. They won't even know. They'll probably think it's like, yeah, they're going to think it's the real headquarters. I got this. So I went ahead and I did that. I made the tunnel. It goes all the way down here and leads in a very long way all the way ooh. I mean and it's very long a very very convincing fake <laughs> pace <laughs> we've now led the hip to this fake base twice purely because we were able to update this I mean you can't tell looking at this this looks like the real thing did they trample my crops I think they trample my crops so this is the fake headquarters believe it or not the only thing that gives it away is that there's no sheep here but we spent ages recreating this block for block again mining it all out so that it looks like the real deal and then obviously what's happened is that they have fallen for it have they taken a chair because here it is the fake vault the fake diamond throne vault it has exploded, so I feel confident that I can show this to you on camera because it seems that someone on hip has infiltrated, in quotation marks, the mycelium headquarters. They've fallen yet again for another mind games of the devious green and impulse, and they have suffered the consequences. They've blown up. This is the fake headquarters, and you don't even know how many fake headquarters we've got. Hmm? How many have we got? The plan worked yet again. Man, I love this thing. I love the mycelium resistance storyline. This is going amazingly. And I don't I don't actually have much more to say to it that they've they've yet again fallen for our antics. The only downside to this, of course, is that I'm actually unable to show you before they fall for the mind games. I have to always wait until they've fallen for it before I can actually show it on camera. Man, I really want to do trick-or-treating again. Oh, B-dubs. He's going in the Mumbo self-portrait spookificator. <laughs> oh, hi, hello there, face buddy. I want to see. Honestly, I I'm going to wait here. Well, there he goes. <laughs> we just get to watch this, I guess. Eventually, he explodes, right? Kaboom? Kaboom? How is he still alive? <laughs> What's going on? Looks like... Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Here we go. Bye-bye, B-dubs. He looks exactly the same. It- it hasn't worked. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's so cursed. I see- I see- I see what- I see what you did there. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like- I- I don't like this. Oh, B-dubs just played the Uno reverse card. Wait. Am I hip now? <laughs> oh, those eyes. They're beautiful and scary. We must, we literally, we have to fix this. Stop. Stop getting up in my grill. Stop it. Okay, 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 okay. If we run at each other real fast, will it swap? Right, ready? Three, two, one. Run! Uh, okay, right, that should do it. That should do it. Boom! There we go. Hey, and B-Dubs is back as well! Our faces are back to normal. We did the old switcheroo. The old switcheroo never fails. Beautiful, you beautiful man. If only he knew <laughs> that I keep a B-Dubs head on me. At all times. <laughs> or are you in the resistance? Hmm. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Our face is back to normal just in time for the end of Halloween. However, there is still something we need to do for Halloween. On the Hermitcraft server, we like to make games for each other. For example, decked out. What on earth is this? Sorry, again, I've been distracted. Wow. Wow. 
Jeez. The hep don't mess around. I thought that was their base. <laughs> What's this? this is, now Mumbo's just got like a podsol thing going on? What is going on here? I'm so confused all the time now. I can't keep up. I don't know how you guys keep up if I can't. Okay, right, so it looks like the HEP have a huge factory and a big llama base. Okay, it doesn't look finished on the inside and gentlemen's rules dictate that we let them finish what they do before we go and have a, look, a closer look. So, I mean, we admire from afar, we're aware of it. We're definitely gonna have to infiltrate this and see what's going on. But like I said, gentlemen's rules on the Hermitcraft server dictate we let them finish because this is quite the project. I mean, can we just appreciate for a second how talented, I assume this is Scar, this has got Scar written all over it. How talented Scar is at building. This has just appeared overnight and there's now a turf shop as well. I'm loving this. I think this area of the shopping district is my favorite by far. So ignoring that for a second, I actually have an idea to help us with this whole mycelium grass war thing. Man, the shopping district's busy. So what I was thinking is if we take down the Hermitland Jobs board, uh, board is, that's not the correct board. <laughs> I guess it's what you do if you're bored. So if I take this down and I turn this into the turf war communication board, this way, we can leave messages to each other and make sure that everything stays fair because actually we've still seen some really nasty comments and guess what? In this storyline, pretty much anything goes. If they want to blow up the Mycelium Resistance HQ, good luck to them. If we want to infiltrate the HEP headquarters, we will. If you see it on the Hermitcraft server, it's A-OK. -okay. There's no rules. We do what we like so we don't need to see any nasty comments. However, I am going to leave a sign that says if you if you sneak into the mycelium resistance HQ, you will lose items. So, you can't say that we didn't warn them. We will defend our base. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then no. No. False. No. No. Bad. Cursed. <laughs> that actually spooked me a little bit. <laughs> and then, of course, we can add other signs just to banter with each other. Is, like, is the HEP base a cool futuristic tower? Or a llama? I don't know. So, I've kind of started off this whole thing and hopefully we can get some good communication going between the two sides and kind of mess with each other a little bit. So I've given them fair warning, we will defend our base and I assume they will defend theirs as well. So if you take your items to the HQ, like if you're wearing your armor and you die and you lose your items, it's now no longer our fault. And also if we lose our items because we forgot to take them off, if we ever infiltrate the HEP headquarters, then that's on us as well. But anyway, ignoring all that, there is another mini game on the Hermitcraft server that I want to check out just before Halloween ends. And the instructions were to go through this tunnel. There we go, Haunted Mansion this way. So this was built by Stress Monster, and I really don't know what to expect going in. Wow. Wow, that's a pretty decent looking build. Okay, I'm excited to play this mini game. Okay, there's a big wall of instructions. Okay, this looks super complicated. Let's put all our stuff away. So I'm gonna read this and give you the too long didn't read. Okay, so I can choose a class. Basically, it's a collect-a-thon. I need to go into the mansion, collect loads of stuff, and yeah, basically that's kind of it. Four pumpkin pies are allowed per run because Halloween. Excellent. So archer, one bow, ten arrows, warrior stone axe, tank, one stone home, one leather pants. I think I'm going to take the stone axe. Okay, so I don't know whether it starts literally now or maybe the entrance is over here. I don't know where the start of this is. I think it perhaps starts immediately. Okay, right, it starts immediately. So I don't think there's any timed runs or anything. So as far as I'm aware, I think I can just go for it and try and find barrels. What's behind the iron door? How do I activate the iron door? Flush the toilet, maybe. There's a lot of buttons that are just for decoration, it seems. 
and I haven't actually figured out how to open anything. Can I go walking around the outside? I assume I can. <gasps> Whoa, okay, right. That was, uh, that was almost extremely dangerous. I, <laughs> whew, almost fell into my death. No problem. Nope, no, nope, that's lava. But there is, there is a hidden trinket in there. My goodness, I need to stop jumping through these paintings so haphazardly. Use what you've got and don't fall. Hmm. Is that four pumpkin pies? And don't fall. Okay, we got it. Got the trinket. Whoa. Okay, think carefully. There we go. Oh, it opened. There we go. Easy peasy. I'll be honest with you, I didn't think carefully at all. I just pressed that button. <laughs> See, this button... I can hear this button doing something. Maybe this is one for the archer, where you've got to put an arrow in it, and then it holds, but I'm not the archer. In fact, the stone axe hasn't really been needed at all. Okay. Oh, we got a cookie. Oh, no. No! That's not fair. Part of me wants to run it again, but the other part of me, I don't think I could do it. I, pr I spent like half an hour in this mansion. I got a load of trinkets and then I died. Okay, I can't let, I can't go out on that. So what I'm going to do is basically like speed run it. And this time I'm going to try the archer. Right, so this time I'm going to start downstairs and work systematically. I knew it. If back is front and left is right, who decides? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh my goodness, that was a, that was a risky play. <laughs> I didn't actually think about the riddle at all. Okay, that was what killed me last time. I'm up to, I'm up to how many? Five trinkets? So I'm almost back where I was. Now, what did this do? Right, that opened something over there. <gasps> Again? With the death? That's not cool. Woo. Woo wee. Oh man. Okay, so you definitely want to be archer in this game. Nice. I don't know. I don't actually know how I open this. We're doing way better this time round. I'm thinking of I'm now that I've got quite a substantial amount of trinkets, I'm thinking of calling it quits. I have no idea how many trinkets there are, but I actually have a lot, and I've almost died a lot. So, I'm thinking of calling it. It's so easy to get lost here that I don't actually know where I've been and where I haven't. Okay, deep, dark, scary dungeon. I'm gonna be annoyed if I die because I've got a huge amount of trinkets now. I'm getting really nervous now. Okay. Yeah, this is quite spooky. You know, this isn't spooky at all. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I've had enough. And last trinket. Okay, I'm calling it. So, I did a pretty quick speed run of that, and this is how many I got. So, I'm guessing there's a lot more trinkets than this, but I'm pretty happy with this. So, I'll take this grave, green, and then we put in all of our trinkets. Well, I think we've done reasonably well, and that is officially the end, because it says once you've put your trinkets into the grave, you are finished with the mansion. No more runs. So, I think we did pretty well there. I'm not entirely sure how many trinkets there are, but there must be a fair few. But can we take a second to appreciate how many hours must have gone into this? There's so many layers. There's, like, several floors to this. I may have even missed an entire floor. It goes all the way to bedrock. There's so much redstone in here. GG stress. What a game. So I hope I've done pretty well on that. There's been some very fun Halloween games today. Very, very fun Halloween games. So, I'm afraid that is probably all we have time for today. We've actually done quite a lot, even though some of it was mainly mini-games and stuff, but you've got to enjoy what the other hermits have created. So, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode, where hopefully we can try and do something against whatever is going on over here. This is the most interesting development of this episode, and we've got to wait and see what happens with it.
But we've got plans of our own at the Resistance, and we'll get into that in the next episode. Goodbye!